About five years ago, I started a project where I installed supercapacitors into one of my cars to see how they worked compared to regular batteries. I'm now getting to the point where the car is actually mechanically worn out and I'm going to be getting rid of the car, so I thought I'd do one final follow-up video on what I learned from all of my experiments with these. The one thing I will say is that I did not find a real practical reason why you would want to switch a vehicle over to supercapacitors compared to a regular battery. Initially I was hoping that I might be able to find a solution that would be lighter that could be used in applications such as racing in order to start the car and not require a regular battery. The big issues that I ran into was on their own these capacitors would die within a matter of 24 to 48 hours just from the parasitic loads of the car. I installed a smaller battery into the car in order to keep the car alive and it would work for probably about five to seven days and at that point even the small battery would be discharged to the point that the car was not able to start. So as long as I was driving it daily it worked just fine. The one issue I did have though is if the car sat for a few days I was actually cycling down this battery considerably further than what it was meant to be cycled on a regular basis. So after about two years, three years area I no longer was getting five to seven days worth the life out of this small battery. So all in all it was an interesting experiment and I learned a lot about how supercapacitors worked but I wouldn't say that they are a feasible solution to replace batteries based on what I found. I hope you enjoyed this video series and hopefully I will have more time to get back to posting videos on a regular basis on YouTube. Thank you for watching.